Good morning friends. It is Saturday the 3rd of June about 9 o'clock in the morning and I have not done one of these vlogs for a long long time. Uh, I have a, an errand or two to do at Walmart. I might be stopping at um, McDonald's to get a coffee. They sell coffee here for 25 cents a cup for the small one so with tax it's only 27 cents and I'm in the mood for my first cup of coffee this morning. <clears throat> it is just gorgeous this morning and everything is in full bloom so it's nice to get out. So I thought I would bring you along with me and see if there was anything interesting to show you, okay? Chat with you a little bit, see how you guys are doing. It's in the lower 60s right now, and I think they're expecting it to get up to around 74 or so, which is nice. Okay, I'll see you in a little bit. my friends I just got home and I've got stuff to unpack I haven't done a grocery haul in a long long time and so I just thought I would show you what I got okay I did stop at McDonald's and picked up a cheeseburger and a small coffee but I brought them home so all right well let me get things unpacked and I'll show you what I bought. Okay, guys not very exciting today but I thought I would share it with you anyway I got a cheeseburger and a coffee at McDonald's and some cream um, let me see. At Walmart, I got a can of crushed pineapple, a couple of avocados, and they were only a dollar a piece, and they're huge, really beautiful. Uh, three Roma tomatoes, one banana. I just don't eat that much fruit. A package of cheap hot dogs, um, an onion, some Dawn dish liquid, some TP, and I needed some hair coloring, but don't tell anybody I color my hair, okay? <clears throat> Um, these were marked down to 25 cents a piece, the Jiffy Corn Muffin Mix boxes, so I thought that was great. And I picked up a block of pepper jack cheese. 
So that's what I got at Walmart. And then I went to our grocery store and they had their house brand uh, Market District coffees marked down, or some anyway, in a basket. This used to be my favorite one. This is the hazelnut decaf. And then they just stopped selling it. I couldn't buy it anymore. So for a dollar, I thought, you know, even if it's bad, it's worth a try. So that's what I got there. Oh, and a couple bottles of Fago Diet Root Beer. Um, another thing I bought at um, Walmart, I lost a really, really favorite little paring knife of mine. I have no idea where I where or when or how I got rid of it. But this was only 94 cents, and so if it's a piece of junk, it's no big loss. I also stopped at the Dollar Tree, and I got um, a greeting card and a package of little note cards, a basting brush, some of these crackers. If you've never tried them, they're really, really good. I think the same brand is sold by Aldi, and um, you get six ounces. Um, they're very good. I really like them. And then a package of um, Verlo sponges. One side has the scratchy surface, and then the other one is the sponge. So, so that's it. So all together, for all of these items, I spent $25.20. I think it's a lot of money for such a little bit of stuff. But you know how it is nowadays. I didn't buy any meats because I have stuff in the freezer. So that's it for my shopping haul today, guys. All right. Um, thanks for being with me. I might have a little bit more to add to this video. It's not very long. So I'll see you later, okay? Hey, guys. I'm Steph. Welcome to my kitchen. I know it's been quite a while since I've made a video and spoke to you directly. But I'm racking my brains trying to figure out what I wanted to cook today. And I thought... I always come back to soups. That's like one of my favorite things to eat. So I think I'm going to make a chowder and I will show you the things that I pulled out of my uh, pantry and uh, refrigerator. Okay, so let's go over to the counter and check it out. All right, see you there. Okay, if you watched my video from a little bit earlier where I went shopping today, I sh showed you that I picked up this paring knife at Walmart that was 94 cents. Okay, this is not a slam against Walmart or anything. Don't buy it. It was sharp enough to cut my finger, but it handles terribly and the blade is just a bad shape and it would hardly even peel potatoes. So I just put the sheath back on and I wrapped it up and several rounds of... Uh, packing tape and it's going in the garbage. So save yourself a dollar. Matter of fact, if you need a paring knife, go get a good one. It never pays to buy junk and I should know better. Okay, let's check it out. <clears throat> oh yes. Oh yes. Look at look at how tender the potato is. Look at how tender the meat is. <clears throat> and the cauliflower and the carrot. This is ready. So I'm just going to dish some up, put some butter and salt and pepper on it, and enjoy. So here's the dinner, guys. I think it's my equivalent of the New England boiled dinner, only I steam everything. I have cauliflower, green beans, potatoes, carrots. I have um, kielbasa, some parsley, and um, a little breakfast sausage that I pre-cooked just a little bit before I added it to this. I have some garlic cloves in there and season it with butter, salt, and pepper. It is absolutely delicious and I hope that this gives you an idea for an easy and but tasty meal sometime, okay? Alright, thanks so much for watching and I will see you soon.